Hello, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things, jumping. Let's go over some key concepts uh, that are going to help us through this course. So, jumping is a skill, not an innate ability, which means you can train and practice to improve your jumping. A lot of people get stuck in like, I'm just genetically not a jumper. I just can't jump. And it's a self-defeating kind of view. So I want you to go into this thinking, this is something just like other skills that I can learn to improve, that I can train and practice, okay? Very key. So another thing is uh, that jumping well and improving your jumping requires speed and force. Uh, and there is a force velocity curve. So we want to be able to produce high amounts of force, but then also be able to do that quickly. Now, the longer it takes to produce force, the more force we can produce. So if we are doing a max deadlift, for example, it takes a long time to create that lift, but we're able to produce lots and lots of force with that. Uh, sprinting, really, really fast ground contact times, because it's so fast, we can't produce as much force, but we're able to do it quickly. Uh, jumping plyometrics falls along that curve closer to the velocity end than the force end. So this is still jumping is something that we're doing quickly. We're learning to produce force fast, but it's kind of this uh, intersection of like, where can we produce as much force as possible as fast as possible? And that takes practice. There's different types of jumps that fall a little bit differently along this curve as well. So we want to be able to produce force and strength with some strength training, but then practice to develop the speed there. All right, very key. Now, here's a big one that a lot of people do not focus on that we are going to focus on. Staying healthy and relatively pain-free is really crucial for effective jump training. So we do this with focused, progressive mobility and joint strength training. So the mobility stuff is so key because if you do not move particularly well, um, your joints don't stay healthy, your tissues and tendons don't stay healthy with your training, you're going to be inhibited. And when there is pain or your body is not confident and stable, you're just not going to blah, be able to produce the same amount of force. It's just not going to happen. So this is a big thing that uh, prevents people from making a lot of progress, especially long term, because they'll go real aggressively at first and not focus on mobility. Uh, and then they'll run into trouble and they'll kind of cycle through uh, their power and jumping ability. Okay, another big thing, this is huge too, you do not need fancy or complicated equipment or exercises. What we need is consistency, discipline, and a smart approach. Okay, so there's hundreds of all kinds of complicated jumping and plyometric exercises. You can find them on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. And a lot of times they're intentionally made to look flashy and you see someone who's jacked and athletic doing them. It doesn't necessarily mean they're super effective. If you can safely do them and they're fun, that's cool. But I'm going to keep this as easy and simple as possible to help you make progress. Okay, so we're not going to be doing a lot of vastly different things week in and week out. We're going to consistently hit our main things and we're going to gradually progress them over time. It is not the most exciting, but when you start feeling more balanced and you can jump higher and you feel good, that is where it's exciting. So the excitement comes in the discipline that gets us to our results. All right, stay tuned for more.